Hey everybody, um, this is a new series, or this is going to be a new series of, I don't know how many videos, but several. Um, I am going to uh, bring, hopefully, every all of you up to uh, where I'm at with uh, electrical, which would include um, um, most common kinds of electrical that the average person should know or, or, or could possibly need or use. Um, I'm not going to get into things that industrial people should know because if you if you're uh, if you're already there you need to know that uh, there's other videos out there for that and there's also other other avenues of learning. Uh, the basis of this video and this uh, this whiteboard um, tutorial discussion whatever you want to call it is going to be um, uh, things that in you can use in an everyday situation. So we're going to cover things like. Uh, the things you're going to find in your home, okay, and the things that we use in solar applications. Um, there's uh, some things that we, that you can, um, oops, things that you uh, are going to learn here can be used uh, in your car or your boat. Um, there's going to be some other things. Let's see what else we're going to cover. Uh, your uh, when it comes to your home, I mean, we're talking your electrical system. your uh, HVAC, which is going to be uh, your, your furnace, your air conditioner, um, uh, your boiler, whatever you use to heat or cool your house with, your heat pump, things like that. So we are going to cover a lot of these items in depth and uh, we'll probably even do a series on HVAC to help uh, with diagnostic problems and things of the sort. Okay, um, so we've uh, and when it comes to solar, we're going to cover things like uh, the panels, um, and and that's DC voltage. Okay, DC voltage. So we're going to cover um, AC voltage when it comes to your house. Uh, when it comes to solar and panels, there's going to be DC voltage, and then in turn, um, well, it's also going to be AC as well because after you've converted it you're going to be talking about AC also your car and your boat is going to be DC um, you, you're, you could be t dealing in, in your car or your if you depending on what kind of vehicle you have the older um, some of the vehicles are 6 volt um, that is very uncommon we have your typical 12 volt and then you also have 24 volt systems out there the most common, obviously, is 12 volt. So we'll spend the most of the time with this. Some of it will relate to either uh, 6 or 24 volts. Okay, so that's pretty much what the premise of this, vid this video series is going to be about. So uh, uh, stay tuned. Um, and, and, and these are all going to be in a playlist. So if you, if you found any of these videos, and you've also found the playlist, so all the videos should be put together in a playlist for you. If you have any questions during any of these videos, feel free to ask questions because uh, there, there probably will be a lot of questions and you must ask the question. And what I'll do is for every question that's asked, I'll do a subsequent video to cover in depth any questions that have been presented. That way everybody will learn um, and, and maybe somebody has a question that doesn't want to ask or maybe you asked a question that somebody didn't think of. So this is what we're going to be working on over the uh, uh, next, uh, next several days, weeks, months, and, and, and probably a lifetime. There's a lot to learn. So stay tuned. Watch the next video. Uh, please leave a, a comment, subscribe, rate the video. Let me know if there's any areas of... Uh, of uh, a detail you want me to cover, uh, go feel free to jump ahead. Uh, we'll make the videos and, and, uh, and, and they'll come about in any order. But what I'm going to start with is uh, home electrical systems. And then from there we'll, we'll, uh, we'll move on to the uh, AC and, and uh, heating systems. All right, thanks a lot, guys, um, gals. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.